Hi everybody, it's me again. I thought today we'd take a look at Jago XJ220 on a Mega CD. Or Sega CD, wherever part of the world you come from. This game was released in 1993. I played the Amiga version and that was released in 1992. But until recently, I didn't realise they released it on a Mega CD. And the only uh, reason I came across that, because a follower and friend on Instagram showcased his copy of the game and showing some gameplay on his actual Mega CD. So I thought it'd be a great idea for me to take a look at it and see how I get on. Just press start. Grand Prix World Tour. Let's go for World Tour. I've got track edited. New game. No, oh, we keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. Let's try that again. Right, that one. Here we go. Start race. Let's just go for it. This could end up being a disaster straight from the start, but we have a look. And some tunes. How do you get the tunes going? Yep, Start your engines. Go! Here we go. Got a bit of music on it. Whoa. The break is right. So B on my Xbox controller is accelerator, and A is the break. Yeah, I got four memories playing this on the Amiga, or the Amiga version, back in the day. Used to love my Lotus series games, and when this came out as well, I thought, oh, I've got to try that, so got a copy of that, and the rest is history, really. This version looks really good at the moment, especially with the background music. Yeah, not a bad game at all at the moment. Just trying to learn it, Beyonce. Uh -oh. Oh, well, that's qualifying done, so I don't know how well they done in that. Oh, 20F, not very well at all. I better have up my game in a race anyway, I may end up dead last. Right, how are you changing music again? I think I don't know why down there. I think I might change the music. Load it. Start your engine. Oh, here we go. Go. Could be complete carnage. This is. Yeah, fair play back in the day when CD games started coming out. They really took advantage of using the actual audio in the games. It's unbelievable, like, at the time. I didn't really experience this until I had my Sony PlayStation. Go, come on, let's try and make some places up here now. Come on. 
Yeah, I don't know how much a Sega CD was back in the day. I knew you had to have a Mega Drive to run it. I'm not 100% sure how, if the games were a lot more expensive on it as well. I'm not sure. Maybe you lot can tell me in the comments. I got a few um, Sega CDs now on my launch box. Um, I haven't really dived into it too much, to be honest. I have played Shadows of the Beast 2 on it, which is a completely different game from the Amiga version. Yeah, this is a fun game, it says. Definitely gotta use the brakes on this one. I'm usually pretty lazy with these sort of races. I try not to brake at all. Just take my hand off the accelerator button, but this one, yeah, you need to brake. Oh, that was cheeky. Nice little chicane there. Got a feeling, oh, I'm gonna go over to you again. I mean, you're man. Got away with that one. Yeah, I remember back in the day, these sort of racing games were very popular on all systems, like, there were so many that come out. I don't know which game originally started this all off, I think it more like it was out front. Might be completely wrong there, eh, mate. Nearly end up in disaster, that then. I never, I never seen a real Jaguar XJ 220 come to figure it. Done a couple of car shows all years, but never seen one, so it must be really rare. I know Mike Tyson, I hope, went back in the day, like, you wouldn't want to touch this guy, no matter, but. But this, was cra this car was crazy back then. Not everything. Another corner. Woo. Yeah. Coming to figure it, so I don't actually. A lot of my friends had Mega Drives back in the day. But I don't think I. No, I. Come to figure it, I don't think one of them had a Meg CD, so it must be really expensive to own one. I know my one friend had a 32X, I think it is. Yeah, this music's thumping fit, right? Here we are, complete. Where did I end up? Oh, eight. Yeah, so that's Jagger XJ220 on the Mega CD. And I gotta be honest with you, I am impressed. Got great music. Obviously, it looks a little bit outdated, but it will do for the age it is. But yeah, it's still fun to play. Definitely. And I'll definitely be coming back to this one in the future. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little gameplay video of mine. And I'll catch you all again soon.